Okay, so we've looked at the grade book and we've created a couple assessments. So now what we need to do is add some questions to our assessments. So under this Module 2 Investigation 1 Homework Assessment tab, we're going to press the Questions button. So there's a lot going on here, but soon it'll be pretty easy to see what's happening. So in potential questions, everything below this potential questions header are questions that you can possibly add to your assessment. So you'll notice there's not a lot of questions here. So what we're going to do is look at this in libraries. Right now we're in the unassigned library, which doesn't have many questions. What we're going to do is select libraries. Now, this root directory contains all of the assessment questions from the Pathways group. So if you pull down Pathways PC, we'll have some subdirectories with questions in them. So Pathways PC M2, Pathways Precalculus Module 2. If you open that folder, you'll pull down and it'll have five more folders. So Pathways Precalculus Module 2 Investigation 1. If you click that select box and hit use libraries, it'll change the library to this. And now what we're going to do is hit this search button right here. What it's going to do is pull up all the questions from that library and put them in this list right here. So notice that there's about 25 questions in this library. Now we're going to choose which problems from this library we want to add, and we're going to add it to our assessment. And you'll notice that we can actually select multiple libraries and choose, pick and choose questions from different libraries. For now, we're just going to look at one library at a time. So maybe we want to add all of these questions. So if you look, there's an All button. If you hit this All button, it'll check all of the boxes in this column. And then we can add using defaults. This is going to add all of these questions to our assessment. So now if we look at this header, it says questions in assessment. And we have this row right here, or this table right here, of all the questions that are in this assessment. And you can order the problems a little bit and move them around. You can change the settings for this, like if you want one problem to be worth more than the others. You can do things like that. And maybe you want to delete some of them. You can actually checkbox those and remove them from the assessment. Now, once you're done, you can hit the Done button. And it'll save these questions to this assessment. Now, when you open this assessment, you'll notice that we have our 23 questions listed on the side. So you can navigate through these. And you're in instructor view right now, so you can look through all of these problems and you can see which problems are in your homework set. Now, if you want to edit some of these, you just click on the questions tab again. Go back into this list of problems in here and you can add from assessments using the potential questions section. Or you can delete some of the questions from your assessment using the check boxes and this remove button. Now you're going to want to know what questions you're looking at so there is a preview button. If you press the preview button it will generate the question for you. And you can actually attempt the problem so if you, you can actually run submit so it's like a trial run for it. And then you can hit the show answer to see what the answer is. And then you can navigate through here and see what the questions are that are in the assessment. So from there you can see what problems you're looking at and you can remove these from your assessment or add more. Now again if you want to take a look at the assessment as a whole you can open up the assessment itself and look through the questions on the left hand side make your decisions accordingly.